This game is tea and is not suitable for kids. All right, I am back and I brought water with me, so hopefully I won't destroy my throat. <laughs> At the school building, the sounds of, yeah, I read that. Botan, who is asleep in my lap, seems to have noticed and starts wagging his tail. Yo, you awake? My guess is that your owner is going to be in here in a bit. Tap, tap, tap. Sounds like she's coming. I hear footsteps coming toward me from behind. Hmm? What's wrong? Suddenly, Botan's body begins to tremble as if he's afraid of something. Sitting on my lap, he droops his ears like a dog. Hmm? Oh, it's Ryo! I turn around and it's the younger sister who's here. Yo, what's up? Wait. Oh, is, is Ryo the younger sister? I thought that Kyo was the younger sister. Hmm. What's up? Kyo is the older one. Okay. I mean, they're twins, but so she's only slightly older. Oh, that, huh? It's not like I actually listen in class anyway. I was so bored, so this is actually perfect. That aside, this fiends your families, right? He probably came here to see Kyo. His body has been shaking all over since just now. What's going on? <laughs> I always eat BLT sandwiches and he doesn't like it. It doesn't like you, huh? She whispers quietly. At that very moment, Botan's body suddenly begins to tremble. Hmm? What's wrong? Unlike when Fujibayashi came, he sounds very happy. Botan leaps off my lap and starts running, taking a large detour to avoid Fujibayashi in the process. And over where he's headed, there's... I thought it would be Kyo. Yeah, I thought... I thought Oni with two eyes was older, and then One was younger. So I thought Ryo was always calling Kyo younger sister, not older sister. Up you go. Kyo hugs Botan, who'd run toward her, and smiles as she walks this way. She glances at me. Actually, she came here to, to confess her love to me. No, don't be, don't be a doofus. She couldn't even wait until school's out, so I guess she's actually way bolder than she looks. She becomes flustered as her face reddens. She looks like she's about to cry. By the way, I'm just kidding. Ryo's really sweet, honestly. <laughs> She's actually trying to get us to improve. She says, and she lets out a sigh in amazement. Next to her, Fushibayashi nods her head ex exaggeratedly. Her face is still red. Well, next time, don't hurl a dictionary at me. Well, you can always get me something. You're kidding. Yeah, like, when we're like, I never listened to class three, I was like, that's not good, you sh really should, because it might, like, negatively impact your future, and Kyo's just like, yeah, I know you don't, come on, take care of my pig, <laughs> if you're not gonna listen anyways. <laughs> Even if I fall asleep, it still counts toward my attendance. That's important, so don't just disregard it. Leave it to me! I pound my chest in agreement. Having seen that, Botan oinks his nose happily. Hmm? What is it? 
のはいけないと思います。I don't listen in class anyway, so it doesn't matter. それでもそういうのはいけないと思います。<laughs> Maybe you just need to have a change in attitude, dude. So she says, What should we do, Onei-chan? <laughs> yeah, any of, Kyo, any of the poses Kyo has when she's staring straight at you are amazing. You are picking a fight, aren't you? Hmm? Yeah, I guess. What about the pig then? Should we just leave and be till class is over? <laughs> Ding dong! Class is going to start. <laughs> Hearing the bell chime, Fushibayashi begins to become flustered. Botan wag wiggles his tail as he watches her. <laughs> Kyo takes a deep breath as she steps forward. <laughs> You're taking him with you? Isn't that kind of bad? What the hell's that? Botan's body freezes on Kyo's mark. He then stays that way without moving in the slightest. He has a plushy mode? Where can I get me one of those? Let alone blink, it doesn't seem like he's even breathing. Don't tell me. You're taking him back to class with him acting like a plush. You're a moron. Uh? <laughs> There's no way he can stay like that for 50 minutes. What? That's animal cruelty. And yet, somehow he doesn't like Ryo, but he likes Kyo. Is it really going to be okay acting like a plushie? She says, and she squeezes Botan into my chest. Huh? What do you mean? What? You're kidding. How about you take him to your class? You can't really trust someone who tells you to have faith in them. Kyo? Huh? I say that to stop Kyo, who is going to walk toward the school building. As she turns around, I throw a botan at her. As she lets out a yell uncharacteristic of a girl, she somehow manages to catch the spinning botan midair. Nice catch! I say with a smile as I give her a thumbs up. Hey, demon face, let's calm down. When she's ticked off, her voice gets a lot deeper. Nope, as far as I tell, can tell, there have been no decisions for a while. He's your pet, no? You take care of him yourself. Prove it in your class, then. In that case, I'm sure it wouldn't be a problem if you take him with you. Hell, isn't it weird for a guy to bring a plushie to class in the first place? You really think so? There's no way in hell I'm bringing him with me. Kyo turns around with a sulky expression and starts walking towards the school building. Kyo's route is out on this one. I want to do the Tomoyo route. That's why. That's because I met Tomoyo on my way to school instead of Kyo on her motorcycle. Then, during class... <laughs> I knew it. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I can hear loud noises coming from the other side of the wall. 
perhaps because she noticed what's going on, Fushibayashi keeps looking back and forth between the chalkboard and the wall nervously. Thank goodness I didn't take him. I think from the I think from the bottom of my heart. Yeah, I'm doing Tomoyo route this time. I'll do Kyo's route next. Either that or I will actually <laughs> I might do um Yoshi's route next. Homeroom eventually ends, meaning the school day is officially over. Okay, how do I how do I drink from my mug without hitting the microphone? Hmm. That's how. As I cram my neglected textbook into my desk, I hear a voice. Oh, hey! It's Best Girl! Tomoyo is standing there, holding her bag. The bell only just rang. You sure are fast. Oh, Yoshi... Yoshino himself does not have a root, but he appears in one somewhat regularly. Oh, okay, good to know. Thank you. Oh, she's really sweet. Don't you have anything else to do? Sonohara raises his voice and stands up. Cold. No, it's not. No, we aren't. <laughs> Don't say something so gross. I give him a kick in the ass. Well, okay, well, it's rude to kick another man's donkey. Come on. Sunohara comes closer and he whispers to me. Yeah, I don't want you to do something quote unquote fun to best girl. <laughs> Since I already played for one route and now I'm just directly aiming for specific characters, you can point stuff out. Yep, thank you. I appreciate that. If, 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 if you go too far with the spoilers, I'll let you know. So don't worry about that. What's going on in that head of yours, man? <laughs> She's like, no, I won't. <laughs> Tomoyo takes a glance at my face. As long as your business isn't something worthless. <laughs> no, that's okay. Don't tell me all the characters who have root. I haven't even met all the characters, I don't think. <laughs> I know Sunohara has a root, though. <laughs> I definitely haven't learned the names of all of them. Or met them. I don't know the name of liber library girls. A uh, library girl is weird. With Sunohara in the lead, we leave the classroom. Well, okay, what stupid thing is he going to do today? As we go into the hallway, I come across a familiar small figure clinging to the door of the class next door. By that's, I let out Sunohara, I let Sunohara and Tomoyo go off ahead of me for a bit, and I approach her. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> she jumps back in a fluster. I thought I was expecting Kyo and her pig. <laughs> yup, it's the weird person. But wait, aren't you a strange person here too? <laughs> You think a well-behaved girl would steal? So what bad deeds have you been plotting this time? Huh? Just what are you planning? I don't know about if she's the brattiest of them all. I mean, Kyo literally ran us over with her motorcycle multiple times. <laughs> so, I don't know about that. She closely embraces the carving in her hand. And yet again travels to her fantasy world. Just what am I supposed to do? Tomio looks at me over her shoulder. Nah, she's not someone I'd really call an acquaintance. Huh? Even though Sunohara, even Sunohara turns back. Hora, 
何の時間と合わせようとしてるんだあいやその明るいうちの方がいいなって<笑>どうしてえいやほら暗くなるとさお母さんがもう帰る時間よって呼びに来るんだ That'd be quite an ordeal having her come over from so far away. So, then, oh, my no, you're she, my coco, you are neither. Ah, Oka, something, or sa, Missa, and the goto Missa, and Boko, no goto, Musco, no yoni, at the car, can't you guys, John, there, eh? Anta, which no Musco, to Yoku, Niter, you, the mind, no yoni, you are, yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't think that's true. She's not married, you know. Ah, Fring. Dude, stop digging your grave deeper and deeper. Why, I never knew. Okazaki, Okrete, Konomai, Yoni, Masobi, Nikitanda, Sagara, Misaino, Musco, Deste, I sat to the Matetayo. Mm hmm. That's quite a bold, ill legitimate child. Namai, what on to you know? Namai, Torpo. Of course you'd know his name. Didn't he go around greeting people? Ah, I know. I know. I know. I know. Then answer my question. Answer immediately. Eh... Eh... Sagara Misa... Obviously, it wouldn't be some simple name like Sagara Miso, would it? Ah... Ah... Of course, it's different. It's different. It's different. Sagara Misa... There... ああ。サガラミサイル。僕サガラミサイルですって挨拶して待ってたんだ。うん。いや、新しい名前だよね。かっこいいよね。How <笑> <laughs> it's very true. Is this girl like. Okay, this is literally turning into my Pup Putt Enters the Race Let's Play, where Pup Putt was frozen with the same grin on his face for five whole minutes after drinking a milkshake. She's the same! So, <laughs> Sunahara and Tomoyo start walking. Did you even notice anything at all of what just happened in front of you? Okay, well, um, she's got some mental disorder. Someone went flying all the way up to the ceiling. Oh there! You almost made it sound like I'm some kind of crazy person here. That's not me, that's you. That's because you're always daydreaming. Just what part of you is sharp, except for the knife that cut your flesh? Anyway, you should be thankful it's me you're dealing with. If you were to act so defenseless in front of some weirdo, they might just go and kidnap you. Without a millisecond of hesitation, Fuko points at me. No, well, I won't deny it, but there's a lot more weird people like me around, you know? How's that? Bad, isn't it? There's a Steam achievement called Tomoyo Weapon of Mass Destruction. <laughs> right now, she must be imagining a dozen of me yelling, Heave ho! while carrying her away. That's kind of freakish. See? Although it featured me, your impression is probably right on the spot. But that's exactly the reason why we must not let that happen. You need to stay focused and not zone out like that again. It's quite hard to get just by playing the game. <laughs> In that case, next time you go into your trance, I'll prove to you just how much of a brickhead you are. Deep in my heart, I swear this. Okazaki, Tomoyo is waiting for me ahead in the hallway. No, I'm coming. Whack. Gah! Something hit me in the back. Something quite large. Why, you little... When I turn around, she'd already been running off at full speed. It seems silly to chase after her now. I take out the thing that was so forcefully inserted into the back of my uniform. 
What the heck is this? A carving of a star? It's about as big as a fully opened hand. It looks like a star no matter how I look at it. Is this the thing she's been carving? If it is, does she need 700 of this? For what reason? Well, don't you know America's gonna take over every country so it'll be the 700 states of America? A hobby? Or art? Did God instruct her to do it? I think that one, yes. Jeez, I don't understand her at all. The wooden star is badly balanced, not to mention it has splinters all over the place. But I know how much effort she spent on this. Just what am I supposed to do with this thing? To be frank, it's burdensome. Splinters are the worst. Sinahara <laughs> looks curiously at the thing I have in my hand. Dunno. Shuriken? I wonder. Shuriken natte. Kaste mina? Sonohara forcibly snatches it from my hands. He says, and then he throws it like a frisbee. Phew, man, you're old. If you threw that at Tomoyo, I'm beating you up. The wooden star flies past the school gates and then disappears into a thicket of trees. I wonder if it's actually better to have gotten rid of that thing. Well, let's not overthink it. That's gonna be important later, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, we get it. Oh, uh-oh. Is this a place where you used to be the crime-fighting vigilante? Sonohara already knew, and knowingly took her all the way here on purpose. This place happens to be the route to school for students from the nearby industrial high school. And some of the students from that high school are known for being horrible delinquents. そもそもお前のようはこんな。うん。じゃあ、早く済ませろ。待ってなきゃいけないようなんだよね。じゃあ、私は離れている。終わったら呼べ。いや、僕たちは友よちゃんと一緒に待ってたいんだ。オッケー
今日から私のことを友達と思ってもいいぞ。We are friends. ありがとうございます。<笑> Treat us. ともや。I love the lighting on the sprites here. When the two of us are alone, Tomoyo calls me by my first name. Huh? What are you talking about? I know you're not going to be able to do it. Well, after that, we went to the coffee shop, so things didn't really change that much. Well, that's good if that's the case. I mean, you looked really afraid. Yeah, it's not a face a girl should be making. No, it's all right if you just relax. At least when you're with me. If you don't, I'll, you'll just wear yourself out. Tomoyo hangs her head and clutches her hands in front of her chest. Got the really sad piano music. I mean, I imagine you can't stick Frankfurters in your real friends' noses, so. <laughs> that makes you happy. I'll pinch your cheek whenever you want. What a complicated person. That's so. Oh. I guess this isn't super sad piano music. Oh, yeah, I, piano music can get a lot sadder than this, I'm sure. Oh, I'm glad you had fun, Tomio. Well, let's be glad you weren't too late to the party. She calls in and looks at me with a serious expression. I think it'd be better if you just value the friends you already have instead. This one is calm rather than sad. Okay, fair enough. That's what you say, yet you always do things your own way anyway. No, well, people are actually attracted to her for that very reason, so there's probably no particular reason she should be mindful about being like that. Even if you do, it's best if you don't get too deeply involved with people like us. Didn't I tell you earlier? Weren't you aiming on entering the student council? That's why. Wouldn't it be best if bad rumors didn't spring up? Well, maybe so, but... Yeah. If you kept hanging out with us after you got into the student council, it'd just tire out the both of us. Since we'd have to constantly pay attention to each other's position. No, well, you're probably right. Let's go with that. There's only a little time until then, so I'll probably even be able to keep Sunahara in check during that time. It's all right. Yeah. She smiles brightly in relief. 